And I'm a, all the good stories start with the struggle. So the Tyler Perry's of the world, everybody of the world. Gotta started, go through something to have, have something to, to talk about. But Tyler was in a car sleeping, homeless, everything. Mm -hmm. He could have been like, I'm just gonna rob this liquor store and give him some money. Mm -hmm. No, he, the, the long game was he acted, learned how to do plays, and then later on, he's who he is today. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You know, so um, just going back into it, um, I see you, uh, you know, like when I think about, you know, the way that you, you, you know, far as King George, mm -hmm. all these different people that which are early on, mm -hmm. Magic, you know, the whole, the, the whole movement for that TRU. Mm -hmm. um, did you ever see it going where, you know, like to where you guys elevated and elevated and kept going to where, you know, Hell, next thing you know, y'all the biggest thing. Y'all put out more music than anybody in one year. Did you ever see that coming? I did because I think when you're consistent like we were, you're going to win eventually because we was like everywhere. We'll be getting, we'll be doing shows for free chicken sandwiches. <laughs> we'll be open up for anybody, you know what I'm saying? And so that kind of drive with the music, it was just going to catch up at some point. Not how we caught up, we didn't know that, but we know it was going to catch up at some point, yeah. Wow. So, um... You know how I see a lot, because the reason why we do what we do are, in my mind mm -hmm. is to help people, especially kids who are watching these shows, mm -hmm. they can learn which way to go, mm -hmm. which way not to go, and so forth. Yeah, yeah. So as a kid growing up, and you know, a lot of people are like, I want to be a rapper, I want stardom, yeah. I want mm -hmm. all of this. Mm -hmm. Looking back on your life and now experiencing all of that, because like for me, I wouldn't want any of that because... I see there's no privacy. Oh, yeah. I see that you can't just walk down the street. Mm -hmm. And yes, you have a lot of fans who love you mm -hmm. and they're going to come and you love the love, but yeah. with love comes hate. Yes, yeah, true. Very and true. you have people who, especially in today's society, clout. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, they'll just do something just because they want to record it mm -hmm. and become somebody, although the way in which they got it is mm -hmm. not really stand up. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. You know, so knowing all of this now, mm -hmm. would you change anything? Nah, I, I wouldn't change it because, um, I mean, right now, that's the thing everybody's doing, um, trying, to get, trying to get rich quick, mm -hmm. coming up with schemes, whatever. But me, um, I, think, I think it's better to be known than not known. But how, do you use, the no how you use being known mm -hmm. is the difference. So mm -hmm. me, I use it for my advantage. So I feel like people listen to me. But they listen to me because of my story, but also because of who I am. So if I can get to somebody... Um, you know, and, and be able to share a story where they listen to me because of who I am, that's worth it. Like, I was talking to my friend from Chicago, and I was like, he was just showing me some stuff where, Dan, they're just killing each other back and forth. A lot of people out there that I got love for and all that. And so, um, and I want to tell some of these kids, this, this is real talk right here. Mm -hmm. um, I was young, so when I first started out, I was 15 or 14. I think my first song was um, Ghetto's Trying to Kill Me. Mm -hmm. um, and I was young, but, but I was in the streets too. So I was trying everything to do to really get in trouble, like, where I never come home again. But I want to mm. tell the young kids. Purposely. Purposely. Like, I thought, well, I, thought I was just, like, bad. I, I didn't know any better. I, I was reaching out the wrong way. And so I want to tell the kids, man, today they taking you away. So remember back in the days it used to be, like, if you was 18, you was an adult. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But now they're, like, they're they, they getting kids up out of here at 14, 15 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as a try as adult. And I just want to say, like, that curb that you was having before, like, oh, I can mess up when I'm 14, 15, 16, but when I'm an adult, I'm a change, you can't do it no more, right? So it's a lot of young men that's gonna get caught up, maybe even get killed, but also go to jail for like 50 years. Mm -hmm. So you go from 16 to 50 years in prison. You ain't lived yet, but I wanna tell them, like, cause I was that person where I didn't know nothing. Um, stop caring about what people who don't matter care. So meaning this part, right? So if you ain't got no money in your pocket, I know you want the latest Jordans or the latest shoes, but you can't afford it. So don't try to do nothing that's going to get you those shoes because in a little while, those shoes are going to be old. You do something right now, you might end up getting 50 years. Them shoes will be looking like, you know, old Corvette by the time you come out. So just take it patiently. Be patient because, okay, let's say yourself. So you at 16 is way different than you is now. Right. But what if you messed up at 16 and you wouldn't be here with us today doing what you're doing now? Mm -hmm. They got to see that. That transition where I'm riding for my hood or my boys, that's short. Um, worrying about what I got on, that's short. Don't be afraid to get a job at McDonald's. Don't be afraid to catch the bus if you got to. Don't be afraid to, you know, 
slang newspapers. You know, I know it ain't glamorous, but your your goal is to be having longevity in your whole life. Mm-hmm. It don't it don't stop for like one day. So most people take a reaction for one day. Oh, I'm broke. I need some money. Let me just stick this. Nah, and then you gone. So the goal is, man. I'm a all the good stories start with the struggle. So the Tyler Perry's of the world, everybody of the world. Got to go through something to have, have something to, to talk about. But Tyler was in a car sleeping, homeless, everything. Mm-hmm. He could have been like, I'm just going to rob this liquor store and give him some money. Mm-hmm. No, he, the, the long game was he acted, learned how to do plays, and then later on, he's who he is today. Mm-hmm. Now, if he could have just did that thing, I don't, I don't know how much work, he got to be a couple hundred million at least. Mm-hmm. So what if that, that guy who's sleeping in his car was like, I'm sick, everybody just looking at me crazy. Let me go get this. Now nah, we'll never see Tyler. So the goal is to be consistent in your life and don't worry about if you gotta take a crazy job they'll, they'll forget it later on when mm-hmm. you become rich so if, if I'm like whoever I am all if I'm rich the story's gonna be oh I remember you used to be homeless and you didn't have none that's a good story for anybody mm-hmm. to, so, so value the struggles yeah we on Boss Talk 101, 101. yeah we gonna talk